Andy Serkis describes the story in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes as mind-blowing. Though he will not feature in the new film, the actor has played Caesar, the genetically modified chimp, in all previously installments of the Planet of the Apes remake. Following the rapid spread of the simian flu, Caesar and other highly evolved apes took to the jungles and began battling for survival alongside humanity. Since the story elements for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes were disclosed, anticipation has been rising, and now Circus is offering the film some early praise. In a recent interview with Cinema Blend, the actor gave his thoughts on the picture based on what he knows, claiming that it's going to blow people's minds. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the new Planet of the Apes film, appears to be an intriguing continuation of the franchise. It is the fourth installment of the Planet of the Apes franchise's most current reboot series. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is a film in the Planet of the Apes franchise, based on Pierre Boulle's 1963 novel La Planète des Singes. The title has inspired nine films, two television programs, and a plethora of products. While the narratives of the films differ, the basic theme is that apes have grown intelligent and have surpassed humans as the dominant life form on Earth. The most recent reinvention of the Planet of the Apes was in 2011 with Rise of the Planet of the Apes. As a prequel series to the 1968 timeline, this retelling of the Planet of the Apes plot also includes Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War for the Planet of the Apes. Each film garnered favorable reviews and ratings on Rotten Tomatoes with scores above 77%. The first three movies trace the journey of the chimpanzee Caesar in freeing other apes. The upcoming film Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes aims to further the franchise and is packed with fascinating new developments. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes began filming in October 2022 at Disney Studios in Australia, according to Variety, and will wrap on February 15, 2023. In honor of the occasion, Director Wes Ball shared a behind-the-scenes look at Planet of the Apes 4 on Twitter. Ball can be heard yelling, That is a wrap! over early CGI renderings of the apes clapping and the camera and set workers cheering in the video. With filming over, the visual effects crew will begin work on the motion capture animals of the extensive post-production phase. Ball's article may possibly reveal more about the film's plot, such as the presence of the Planet of the Apes' Forbidden Zones. The filming title for the film is... A forbidden Zone, which has ties to the franchise's past, according to the video Ball shared. The Forbidden Zones are specified regions regarded as dangerous by apes, but containing evidence of human civilization. It's plausible that the upcoming Planet of the Apes film will take place in one of these locations, with the apes' society concealing their presence from future generations. Following their blockbuster acquisition of 20th Century Fox, Disney utilized their presentation at the April 2019 CinemaCon to announce the futures of their main franchise titles. During this time, Disney confirmed that the Planet of the Apes franchise would be continued. The tale of the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes will be a continuation of the current trilogy, rather than a reboot of the franchise. Fans of the Rupert Wyatt and Matt Reeves films should be relieved. The official release date for the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie is May 24, 2024. Memorial Day weekend has historically been a lucrative time for theater releases, so it's clear that Disney is very confident in this one. The summer release date of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes could alter, though, as theater release schedules might not always adhere to the same guidelines as they did before the COVID pandemic. Cast members for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes have been slowly revealed during filming, and not every announcement has been accompanied by a role being played. Thus, there is some conjecture as to who will portray human characters and who will be covered in CGI effects. Travis Jeffrey, Neil Sandilands, Sarah Wiseman, Ross Samuel, Welda Abzagi, Lydia Peckham, Freya Allen, Peter Mackin, Kevin Durand, and Eka Darville will have been cast in unknown roles in the film, according to Deadline. Ditchin Lockman and William H. Macy have also been cast, according to THR. Macy's announcement, in particular, is intriguing. Owen Teague from IT and Stan TV series is set to play Cornelius, Caesar's son, in the Planet of the Apes film. The antagonists in the first three Apes films were played by very well-known elite character actors, David Oyelowo in Rise, Gary Oldman in Dawn, and Woody Harrelson in War. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes may follow suit and cast Macy as the film's antagonist. The title hints at the plot of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes namely what occurs after Caesar leads his clan to safety and passes. 
The titles of the previous three films in the series all hinted at their plots. Thus, the fourth, Kingdom, implies that the apes from the prior films have established a true society, similar to the one in the older films. What do you think, guys? Am I able to uncover the plot of Part 4? Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Resuming our discussion, Caesar dies at the end of the war for the planet of the apes as a result of wounds he received while battling a human army and defending his tribe. The orangutan, Maurice, promises Caesar that his son will remember his father's name. Before proceeding, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel for future updates. Coming back to the topic, years after the war, when the simian plague has largely wiped out humans, the events of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes take place. A number of ape societies have emerged, and they all adhere to various interpretations of Caesar's teachings. Some of these groups misinterpret Caesar's principles and enslave both the remaining humans and other apes. The ape who might take Caesar's position as the protagonist escapes his clan's slavery, joins forces with a human, and the two set out on a quest to find their freedom. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes has yet to receive a trailer. Kingdom has finished filming, and the majority of the plot's contents have been revealed. Thus, a teaser trailer could debut as early as Spring 2023. The visual effects post-production will be one of the trailer's bottlenecks. The visual effects in the most recent Planet of the Apes movies are among the best in Hollywood, and because there are more and more digital characters in movies, more CGI scenes are needed. Because of this dependency on post-effects work, trailers might not be released until the aesthetics meet Ball's expectations. Despite the fact that the latest Planet of the Apes picture has a new director, Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver from the first two films returned to create the script. The struggle against humans appeared to be over after 2017's War for the Planet of the Apes. Caesar is shot during his final attempt to overcome Colonel Woody Harrelson and his soldiers. Caesar succumbs to his wound and dies after guiding the apes to a new home where they will supposedly be safe, leaving uncertainties about the story's purpose moving forward. According to what has been stated, the new film will take place years after Caesar's death and will focus on various ape clans and the struggle that arises when one of their own becomes enslaved. Given the ending of War for the Planet of the Apes, one ape will set off with a human in quest of freedom, and it is worth pondering if those characters will be Cornelius and Nova. As the video comes to an end, guys, tell me your favorite part of the Planet of the Apes franchise. I prefer Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one. Thank <laughs> you.